Hi everybody, last year on World Ostomy Awareness Weekend, I showed you what an ostomy goes through every time they need to take a shower and do a bag change. I still have to do that uh, every couple days when I do the appliance change. However, now every time I shower, regardless of a bag change, I have to take into consideration something else, and that is this, my chest port. Cancer patients use them for chemo, um, other people who just are not well, sickly, such as myself, use them. In my case, it actually ties to my ostomy. Because of not being able to absorb medications that I take in liquid or pill form, and with how sick I've been this year and the type of infections that I'm fighting, it is necessary to have this chest port internally. It can be here for up to 10 years, and it is the way I get my home hydration and the way we do my medication infusions. But obviously you see it has Tagaderm, it has the line, it has a bio patch, which is like a little piece of sponge, all of which cannot get wet. So now, every time I shower, in addition to the video from last year, what we have to do, we now have some additional steps to take before I can go in and get wet. So this is good old press and seal. That is what you need. And actually the doctors recommend press and seal because as of now in the medical community, they don't really have any other tips better than that. I choose to use gauze or you can use a piece of saran wrap, something to place over the tagaderm, that's what this is called, so that way the press and seal adhesive does not stick to the actual dressing. And then we have medical tape. You can use plastic tape. Um, I have more sensitive skin, and this happens to be what we have on hand, so I'm using paper tape. And then you need assistance. Um, my husband will be showing you um, how he assists me and what we do. Lovely model, I know. He's married, ladies, sorry. Um, and this is how the preparation goes. And you just wanna pick a piece, um, obviously, to be correct for the internet, he's using my gown versus my skin to just demonstrate, but pretty much there's no good way to do it. You're just trying to cover the area and a little bit beyond. Um, where the chest port is placed, it kind of goes into my underarm area, which makes it a little bit difficult because the tape kind of goes right on the side, but we do the best we can. And then we tape the areas to add an additional barrier layer so that water hopefully does not go through. Uh, one thing that I have learned having an ostomy and now additionally with my chest port is having a detachable shower head is very helpful because you can control where the water flows. So I tend to put it behind my head and lean my head back when I'm washing my hair to try to avoid this area getting wet as much as possible. So you get press and sealed up and taped up and you get this lovely adhesive and everything and then you get all your bag supplies and then you get your towel and you awkwardly, uncomfortably shower, wash your hair and get clean, which anybody who knows me knows that no matter what, I like to shower, I like to be clean. It just involves a few more steps. So anybody wondering what a chest port life entails, that is what you do to prepare for a shower.